Since I've been at NKU, I've had a number of requests for podcasting software, software that students can use to upload uh, images and audio to the web. And we've developed a package called Norsecast, and right now it's being used in a number of classes. This one's being used in English 350. It has three tabs here, Home, All Podcasts, and Admin, and it's extremely easy to use. Uh, it's based on an open source project um, called uh, Podcast Generator and is maintained by a, a gentleman named Alberto Batella. It has a great number of features and it's extremely easy to use. And we actually skinned this open source project and we didn't make enough changes to it to release it as an open source as well. Uh, but if we had made more changes, we would have actually put it under the GNU license. Um, let me show you how, what's inside of it. If you click on Home, and uh, you'll see the podcasts are here and when they were made and how big they are. And you can click on a button and listen to it. And you, allow, you can also upload images along with the podcast I as well. I with great appreciation those who gave There's an all podcast, and basically that just removes the uh, image, and you just see all the podcasts listed and their details. And there's an admin section. And in the admin section, uh, there's a user login, and we call it Norsecast. And this is a set by the instructor. And there's a student password, with the, which the instructor uh, will uh, distribute to uh, the students. And when you're logged in here, you see the students have the ability to create and upload a podcast. The, here's the XML uh, feed that they would put into iTunes. And then there's also a validator below that, so they can validate their XML to see if it's, it's correct or not. So let's click on the uh, XML feed and take a look at that. And if I right-click on here and go View Source, here are the typical uh, iTunes tags for uh, an RSS feed. But what's cool about this software is the students don't need to know this. Uh, this is generated for them automatically. And that's one of the big pluses of the Norsecast system we created. So let's go back. And there is also, so this is the student uh, login page, but there's also an instructor login page that we're not showing here. But the instructor has his own or her own uh, login page where they log in and they can actually remove podcasts or add podcasts and actually change some of the parameters and, and, and have their own passwords and usernames. So, but the students don't have the ability to do that. So that's one of the things that was not in the podcast generator software which we created. Let me show you how easy it is to put up a podcast. So let's hit the Create and Upload Podcast button. And all you have to do here is browse to the, f the file that you want to upload. And in this case, uh, I have uh, an upload folder on my desktop. And I'm going to choose um, Afro Latin MP3. And this is a loop that I pulled off of a Flash Kit. I'll put in a title. Afro-Latin loop, and you can put in a description if you want. And below that, you can add extra information. So this gives you the ability to actually do a long description. And below that, you can browse and upload your image, and I have an Afro-Latin JPEG. And so let's upload that. And then you put some iTunes keywords in there, like Afro, um, Latin, and so on. And you have a button here to choose if it's explicit or non-explicit content. And then you can put your uh, name in there and your email. There you go. And all you do at this point is you just go ahead and hit the uh, send. And what it does, it automatically sends the audio and the image up to the... Uh, a server and click on home and there's my afro latin loop and that's it you're done and that's how easy it is to use norsecast <laughs>